assalamu alaikum welcome to tech and talk uh, so today is our third session of this stores management system so as by name we know that it is uh, about managing stores so today we will be focusing on adding the view for managing the stores uh, and that would be the first step whenever user will be logged in first time uh, user will be adding a store so after that he will be able to add few products in that <clears throat> okay so for that one i will quickly go and add a new controller uh, we, we we can also use the home controller as well uh, just in case because uh, we are doing nothing in the home controller so let's say <clears throat> we we are utilizing our home controller as a part of um, adding a store <clears throat> but let's say let's say we add a new controller we will switch to home controller at the you know at the end we can do that at any time so i will name it store controller <clears throat> okay and we have now that template ready and i will going to add a view so that will be a razor view and uh, we will be listing our stores here in this view so let's select list and for the models yeah model is very important so as we we don't you know don't have our model ready so what we can do we can select product model and let's create a store model and then we will update it later on <clears throat> so it will take few seconds So basically this process of creating those views and you know controllers through through that visual studio functionality is called scaffolding and behind that scaffolding there is a concept of auto generators right so basically visual studio is running some piece of code to generate those views and you know backend uh, code for us <clears throat> So meanwhile it's generating what we can discuss is the role of our business services so in, in last video we have added implementation folders uh, inside that data services <clears throat> uh, project um, but i was thinking to move those interfaces in a separate project so let's keep that thing in mind and let's do that at some point today all right so views ready and let's go back to the models business dot models and here let's add a new class it will be the store model and for now it is public and let's say we have Int ID and we have string name of the store <coughs> and we will be initializing that name with string dot empty and what else a store can have a location so yeah, we can have a description as well but we need to add a location um, location is very important so that we, we know that where that store exists basically right so that's all from that store point of view and let's go back to the store folder in the views and inside index.cshtml let's replace this with store model 
and everything will be the same all right so currently we have we are displaying the id and the name let's duplicate those table headers to include the description and the location same will go here as well <clears throat> so html dot uh, display for and this syntax is equals to if we directly include uh, those property from at the rate item dot uh, item dot description or item dot um, address what i mean is we can also use it like here uh, at the rate item dot location so these these two are equal right <clears throat> So let's quickly press Ctrl F5 to see the results. And I think we, we did right thing to not update the home control because oh, I got the idea that why not you will use home for the analytics point of view where all the stats will be displayed. But I think the same thing I discussed in the last video. That would be good. And let's move this one here. Okay. So if I put in um, store, then okay. So the we are not pass, passing the list of stores here from the action so that's why that for each is not working <clears throat> and it's saying that the instance is null right so for that one what we can do uh let's quickly prepare a list of store model um, stores is equal to new list of store models and add let's say let's say add a store new store model and here we need to add the id one description at some point i will i will double check if there is any option to auto generate those you know uh, models for us uh, if there is any library i think there should be some library but i need to double check description mm. name is store one and location is let's say location is islam And, and then we need to pass those list of stores here let's quickly press ctrl f5 and see the results now it should be working fine <coughs> okay you can see that it's fine now so that was regarding the stores uh, one thing i think we should um, we should update this title as well it should be something like welcome to store management system right so let's say where it was it was in the index here welcome to store stores management Right. and another thing is we need to add a link in the header which exists in underscore layout somewhere like here we need to add another list item 
and it will be store controller and its index action and the text will be stores and ideally that stores link should come first before products control f5 <coughs> yeah it's refreshing and okay welcome to stores management right and we can see the stores we can see the products and this is privacy policy not make more sense right so uh, in next video we will going to add the store from the front end one thing we we will be updating that view because uh, i don't think so that is a, the, the list view is making more sense here and also we will be start building our dashboard right so there will be tiles number of stores number of products um, uh, top most you know top most stores in our list right something like that we can use that area for the statistics right so that was all for this video uh, i am thinking one more thing to move those interfaces to the to the separate project yeah let's let's quickly do that one as well because uh, in that structure i think interfaces are missing as a separate project so let's add a new project here and that would be class library the name will be store management dot business business dot interfaces and physically that folder will be somewhere in the business services add folder next and there. all right so next i am going to move over interfaces currently we have only one so we can manually move that one to here in this project new item and i product service So we need to add the reference to the system dot uh, store management dot business dot models and let's remove any extra line of code and uh, finally we can just get rid of this folder here right okay so now we have the implementations we have the interfaces we have the models right and at some points now there will be a couple of errors so we need to replace the reference of the business services with the business dot interfaces and that will fix that issue i think that one reference was there uh, in that product service and other was somewhere in the round.cs so we need to add here as well <clears throat> all right let's quickly rebuild and we can close this video we can end it and we will start tomorrow for with a new topic all right it's okay still some references issues let me quickly fix those uh, 
okay and what else i think now errors are resolved <clears throat> then everything should be back running fine as previously so now you can see that our project is expanding day by day so making sure that over we are we are managing our code we are splitting our code where required in the different layers just to make sure we are not tightly coupling our dependencies all right so yeah things are working fine let's end this video that was all for today's video we'll see you shortly okay day bye